with this chain. So Virginia, you were actually picked up and thrown against a wall in here? In here. But we had so much disturbance. I had one of my friends who does things with sea salt and bewitching and another friend of hers, and she was here making a pentagram with sea salt and holy water. And I'm standing over here, which was a little further back than this, and I'm standing right here watching, and the two people are doing their, their mystic thing to get rid of the ghosts. And I was picked up under the arms. I could feel the pressure and slammed against this wall about this high up off the ground. Okay, I had a couple of men I didn't know, wasn't thinking, and they had infrared and they were ghostbusters, mm -hmm. and they wanted to come into the hotel. So I took them down, took them everywhere, took them down in the basement, and I'll show you where and what happened. So we're going down to the basement right now? We're going down into the basement. Okay, go down here? Yes. Okay. Well, we put a sump pump in, but it was a tunnel that it went down and over across the street and it also went over to the prostitution area where the men who were the only ones down here uh -huh. barbershop showers and such could go to the house of prostitution come back go up to their wives and every flashlight three flashlights went out in here it was the dark of the moon nobody had a match nothing it was so cold and so scary and these two strangers to me i said hold on to me and we felt our way out went back up got to the first floor went to the door and i said let me go across the street to the glory hole and get some batteries mm -hmm. and they said no thank you ma'am and they left and they never returned <laughs> more often than not someone on a tour a psychic tour would be pushed coming down these stairs right here you would feel on the back including me a push right here that's what I call the psychic room and it's a pass through to other worlds to other dimensions and you'll feel it when you get down here whoa stop right there do you feel the breeze I found a little breeze uh -huh. but no no You're, push your fingers should be tingling at the tips. This this finger. This uh huh. That's uh huh. Okay. Watch for smoke. Watch for smoke. Okay. Or clouds or something. Watch for noise. They do make noise. After hearing the real stories from a credible ex-employee who spent 17 years working here, we'd be lying if we said we weren't doubting still being locked inside. It is so cold down here. This is the coldest room and the darkest room in the whole hotel. Elizabeth? Hello? I'm back. I'll be coming back quite often. Is there anything you need? Can you talk to me? At this exact time during the investigation, we captured this EVP on our digital recorder. We believe it is Elizabeth communicating with Virginia. Listen closely as we enhance the audio from the digital recorder Nick is holding. Can you talk to me? Can you talk to me? You may have gotten something on it that you'll have to enhance. Who 
issues here. How many spirits are here? Welcome to the circle. What is your name? Bobby. What do you want from us, Bobby? Our seance was interrupted by unexplained noises coming from the second floor. Did you hear the sounds coming from back here, right? I heard the sounds coming up and on the first floor coming down the stairs. I heard that too. I heard somebody coming from back there. I heard they're coming up behind me. Could That's be. what I heard too. They right were around like the so corner. close to us. Uh -huh. And I felt it. I felt Virginia had no idea she was temporarily possessed. With Red and Virginia leaving, we were now locked inside the Goldfield Hotel. Me and Nick are officially locked inside the Goldfield Hotel. So we're going to start this off with um, Nick is going to follow me around, and I'm going to take some digital photographs of everywhere. We're going to go on. We're going to go on every floor, uh, the basement, the first floor, the second floor, the third floor. I'm going to go around and take digital photographs, see if we can get any orbs or any other kind of phenomena captured on digital camera. So let's go over here to room 109, where the, the prostitute was chained to the radiator, where she was only left with food and water, and where she eventually died. It is claimed that the original owner who built the hotel in 1908, George Winfield, got a prostitute named Elizabeth pregnant in the 1930s. Winfield was said to chain Elizabeth to a radiator in this room until the baby was born. Reportedly, he threw the baby down a mine shaft in the north end of the basement, Very then cold. starved Elizabeth to death. Very cold. We know you're in here, Elizabeth. We know what George Winfield did to you. We know he chained you to this radiator. We want to talk to you. We want to contact you. I don't know. Did you hear that? Yeah, that was loud. It was in here. Come on. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Cover up the light, cover up the light. If you look very closely, you'll notice that this very large and defined spirit orb we captured is behind the door frame, about 20 feet from us. Elizabeth? Was that you? Or was that you, George Winfield, you coward? You're the evil one who haunts this place. Well, you're not going to scare us, you evil You're the one everybody's been saying that chained Elizabeth up to the radiator. We want to talk to you. Are you such a big man now? Give us another sign right now. Give us a sign that you're here. Make another noise, we wanna hear you. That's what I thought, you're a coward. Not feeling anything in here yet. See, when we're walking around doing this, when we feel something, you'll know it, okay? We've walked all around here, I haven't felt anything yet. I haven't felt any presences yet. When you feel something, if you've never done this, when you feel something, you walk, you like walk into a room and your, your, your whole body goes completely, your skin feels like clammy and, and cold and there's something weird happens in your in your head and you'll see what we mean if we find one of those spots we captured these orbs throughout the investigation
Elizabeth, make a noise right now. Give us a sign of your presence now. I know what George Winfield did to you. You can easily see this orb manifest itself, then disappear. I do recall an icy feeling, and now that I see this footage, I believe this is Elizabeth touching my arm. I know he chained you to this radiator. Do you want us to leave? Do you hear that? I keep hearing footsteps in the hallway, Nick. Who's there? I thought it was coming from over here. Did you hear it from behind us? What you can't hear or visually see is the unnerving sensation we felt walking through these hallways. It's that feeling you have when you sense people are staring at you, like there were people standing everywhere looking out at us as we passed by their rooms. Let's go down here a little bit. Is it just me or do you feel like we're getting watched? I feel it too. Come on. They're shooting inside all these rooms. Is someone there? Is someone there? Is someone there? Give us a sign. Is 